<laughs> What's up, Switch Gang Nation? It's your boy Marlon back at it again with another massive news video for you guys and girls today. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right off into it. So the first thing that we're going to talk about, man, is so much stuff to cover in today's uh, news video. So the first thing here is PS5 could have a 2018 release date, VR goodies baked in, and a silicon level report. So basically they're saying that dev kits for the PlayStation 5 is already out and there's a huge possibility of it being revealed at this year's E3. I think it's a little bit too soon for PS5, just in my opinion, but um, the PS4 Pro came out two years ago, but I do see realistically speaking, it could be revealed next year's E3 and then possibly released in 2020. That's just my opinion, but according to reports here, they're stating that it's going to be set for a 2018 release date. So according to a report from Semi Accurate paid subscription via popular gaming forum Reset Era, the PS5 could release in 2018 due to the number of developer kits given out. In addition to this, the report suggests that the PS5 could double down on Sony's virtual console effort. So it's going to be built in. That is insane. So basically, uh, what else here? In uh, other information regarding PS5 specs has trickled out as well. PS5 GPU seems to be based on AMD's Navi architecture, which the PS5 CPU could very well be a custom variant of the AMD Zen line. So that's insane to even think about how much power the PS5 is going to have. And of course, Sony is going to drop uh, the PS5 to basically crush the Xbox One X power, but I don't see it being revealed. It's just too soon. You know, there's a lot of other games left in the life cycle of the PS4, so I just don't see this happening. But leaving the your, your thoughts in the comments section down below and let me know what you think about that all right let's move on to the next topic here so super mario world nintendo switch games um kickstarter appeared and then canceled so we don't know if the nintendo ninjas uh got a hold of these people and be like hey look you can't start a kickstarter project with our flagship title or our flagship character which is mario so apparently they wanted to bring some super nintendo uh content to the nintendo switch and and then it just disappeared altogether. I believe the goal was um, 30,000 pound. And of course it got shut down. So I'm thinking that Nintendo probably got a hold of them and be like, nah, you can't do this. All right, so let's move along real quickly here. Rocket League on Switch now has an option to link your Nintendo account to Twitch. Doesn't work at the moment, obviously. So I do believe that Nintendo is going to drop a big update for uh, you know the Nintendo switch at e3 where it's gonna add YouTube Netflix Twitch and all the above features that we've been wanting on here so it's really cool that you know Rocket League has that option maybe Nintendo is going to finally add twitch uh, to the Nintendo switch to where you can actually stream your Nintendo switch games on twitch or possibly YouTube so that's really dope there all right, so let's move on with some more Rocket League stuff. So Rocket League pretty much for the Nintendo Switch had a big update at video capture up to 30 seconds. Also, some quality um, options are added under the, the graphics section there. So performance mode at 60, dock optimized for 60, 900p can scale down to 60 frames per second and 720p handheld optimized for 60 frames per second and 720p and can scale down to 60 frames per second and 576p there so that's insane that's just for the performance mode quality mode is set for 30 frames per second dock 30 frames uh 1080p and then handheld 30 frames 720p so there's several different things there for the depth of feel as far as the graphics is concerned something that we haven't really seen on the switch as far as some of the games are concerned so that's really dope and spider-man spider-man who are you waiting for spider-man so i can't wait for spider-man for the ps4 insaniac games came out on twitter saying that nope 
Xbox fanboys is not going to be getting uh, Spider-Man, so it's going to be exclusively to the PlayStation 4. Yes, so this is real awesome news here. Apparently, we should be getting a release date reveal uh, for Spider-Man today, as, as early as today. So we don't know what time today, of course, uh, Game Informer graced um, you know the cover of Spider-Man on there on their front of their magazine which is really huge definitely cannot wait to see some more stuff at E3 behind this game they dropped some new gameplay of it as well which I'll probably show off in the video here but really awesome game the graphics looks insane I know a lot of people buying PS4s just for Spider-Man I mean Spider-Man is one of the most iconic superheroes there is so really cool stuff there all right guys this wraps up today's news video if you enjoyed please smash a staggering 100 likes on this video let me know you guys want more news videos like this subscribe if you are brand new to the channel turn on that notification bell to join the brotherhood that we have here and peace switch gang nation 20k is up on us baby we out of here